let us talk about uh, smart grid we'll talk about smart grid what is smart grid who are using smart grid and how smart grid is used the comparison between uh, smart grid and existing grid and what are the smart grid components advantages disadvantages and the future of smart grid now what is smart grid smart grid an intelligent electricity delivery system how energy suppliers and consumers they interconnect through a network there are smart meters means they are installed at homes and businesses and they monitor energy consumption and transmit that information back to energy providers then energy providers they track energy consumption and they automatically throttle down energy consumption on a granular level when demands gets too high so who are using smart grid of course individual customers there is some corporate participation and government regulators now how this uh, smart grid is used you know there is a faster communication between the energy company and the end user there is a communication means there is a sense of uh, understanding between energy company and the end user so electricity is sent from energy company through some distribution center to the destination so this allows energy companies to track areas of high use and identify possible outages and provide the proper services for this so this is a sort of co comparison between existing grid and smart grid existing uh, grid is electromechanical uh, you might have seen in your vicinity and smart grid is digital while existing grid is one way communication smart grid is two way communication from supplier to consumer and com then consumer to supplier then this existing grid is centralized generation while smart grid has distributed generation existing grid has uh, you know limited sensors while smart grid will have sensors throughout this existing grid will monitor you know in a manual manner but smart grid will monitor self monitoring is there okay monitor auto monitors you can say this is existing grid is manual restoration if some problem is there and in smart grid this is self healing in existing grid failures and blackouts are there but smart grid will be adaptive and eye landing will be there existing grid has limited control while smart grid has pervasive control while existing grid has few customer choices smart grid has many customer choices the component of smart grid are you have smart meter you have a phaser measurement then information transfer and then distributed generation this smart meter as i you know indicated here it recognizes and details electric consumption it relays information to central monitoring systems and will replace traditional meters shortly and it powers outrage notification and power quality monitoring and time of day charges maybe hourly charges will be there so this is how working of smart grid take place this is uh, how the the you know this is a house and this is how uh, gadget is been placed and with this grid stream the meter becomes an advanced two way communication okay so each uh, device in this mesh network acts as a transmitter and receiver intelligently extending range and reliability this is an one more example so what are the advantages of smart grid it reduces reduces the cost of blackouts for sure health measure and redu reduce this uh, energy consumption and cost and it helps business reduce their carbon uh, footprint and it also opens up new opportunities for uh, technological companies meaning more jobs created and what are the disadvantages because again i said if a coin is there there are two faces of the coin so the biggest concern is security and privacy in smart grid they use automated meters 
two-way communications between a power consumer and providers and advanced sensor so there are you know increased number of gadgets which needs to be maintained and some types of meter can be hacked a hacker of course it can gain control of thousand even millions of meters at one uh, at one hacker one hacking can make the power you know go down for entire city or entire area region and this increases or decreases the demand of power so also that uh, we have uh, you know this is just not a single uh, component which i just said there are various technology components software power generator uh, system integrator etc and expensive for customer you know around this much because customer has to pay for the additional technology which is given to him whether he or she may want it or not so what will happen these are the fastest growing business in the green tech market and it was included in uh, you know president's stimulus bill and us congress act without delay very few companies invest and utilize this austin energy this texas and californian uh, companies and the future of uh, smart grid is in the near future will not be any vast development uh, risky because of financial demands and regulation and in the long run attitudes that will change widespread usage of smart grid for every businessman for every home just like the internet because when the technology comes it is always uh, not taken so uh, well in a welcome way but uh, once it is there people start using it it becomes normal routine life so in conclusion smart grid is a concept designed to provide electricity in a more efficient way by better allocating uh, electricity according to the consumer wants and it integrated multiple energy sources and avoid over generation as well and uh, you know different countries say uk and usa started to implement as they see it as a solution for en energy and environment pressure in their own country thank you so much hope you got the idea of smart grid Take care.